Now to matters on the pitch. It'll be Norwich City to get us underway. Liverpool, the current Premier League leaders, into the knockout stages of the Europa League. They're into the final of the League Cup. Now they're looking to surge into the fifth round and the last 16 of the FA Cup. Fresh from the revelation that their manager will be stepping down in just over three months' time. He won this competition two seasons ago. Liverpool's eighth FA Cup when they beat Chelsea on penalties in the final. They'll be overwhelming favourites to win today against the Norwich City side that have had plenty of good moments this season. There's also been a lot of pressure on David Wagner when they plunged down the table mid-season, but they have recovered and back up to eighth after a very decent run. So remember, they did struggle in the last round against Bristol Rovers, needing a replay to see off the League One side. Imagine they'd be very happy to get a replay in this one. And the front three for Liverpool is interesting because it's very, very fluid. We've seen Gakpo play on the left and through the middle. We've seen Nunez play in the middle and on the left. We've seen Jota play in the middle. It started with Nunez through the centre today. And there's the young man making his full debut. What a moment for the teenager. He's on the nerves, that's for sure. All given away by Norwich, that's ill-advised. Diogo Jota sees it ricochet away for a corner. I'm sure the message to uh, young James McConnell would have been to get as many touches as you can, just try and imagine it's uh, the training ground. I think the pass is nice and simple, just get a nice early uh, feel for the ball. And Bradley on that far side, deputising for Alexander-Arnold, he's been outstanding the last couple of games for Liverpool. It was McCallum who was caught in possession, Gakpo with the first corner towards Konate. He'll come back out to Gakpo here via Bradley's touch. That's good shielding from Hernandez. It's McCallum who tries to get that down the channel. Liverpool uh, really are enjoying a fantastic run. Just one defeat in their last 38 domestic matches in all competitions. And there was a lot of controversy about that one defeat at Spurs in September when there were some highly dodgy VAR calls, you may recall. So you cannot argue with their form, it's spectacular. Kwanzaa, he seems to get better every single game, the young defender. Gakpo. Liverpool have swarmed forward, and Callum it is who heads away. McConnell. Graven back. Not in that midfield, the away side, Ashley Barnes, the sole attacking player up front, but he's going to drop back defensively, very adept at coming close to midfield, or indeed in the midfield, I think he's got, think he's got played a former Burnley man. There's no errors for Norwich City best they can in the opening 15 minutes especially. Bradley. Never been afraid to use youth, has he? Jürgen Klopp in his nine years here. Wide it goes by McConnell to Diogo Jota. Well, I always think uh, it's better through the middle, and Nunez, I think, prefers to play on the left and operates more effectively from there, at least as in the starting position. This is... Um, Cody Gatko, I think, as well, who likes to cut inside. We've got three players who I think ideally would have their first starting position as on the left, but having to do what's good for the team once again today. Bradley. Jota. Oh, it's a lovely drop of the shoulder from Diogo Jota. Rolled it into Nunez. Now Gakpo. And Norwich really through just sheer numbers of bodies back get it away but not for long Curtis Jones Gomez oh. 
Well, he's still, still looking for that first Liverpool goal. He seems to be shooting at will this season. And encouraged to shoot, I would imagine, as well. I can't believe that Joe Gomez doesn't hit a few in training, that rifle, and pass the goalkeeper and end up in the back of the net. Otherwise, he'd just be asked to just the whole station and leave it to somebody else. Good hit, big deflection. This is his 203rd appearance for the club, still no goals. Down goes uh, Tiro Jota on the far post, there's no foul there. There is uh, VAR, by the way, in this fixture, with it being at a Premier League ground. The VAR is uh, Tim Robinson. You can see Liverpool ready to swarm here because David Wagner likes to play out from the back. Jürgen Klopp, who's one of his best friends, knows all about that. And you can see the goalkeeper long has said, look, I think we need to be sensible here. Push up. <laughs> We're not going to mess around on the edge of our own box. We've been caught in possession once already. What an easy job, the Norwich City hot seat. There's a yo-yo between the Championship and the Premier League over the last 10 or 12 seasons. And uh, expect to see some decent football played, and I think finishing in the playoffs is minimum for them, isn't it? Automatic promotion is out of the question. Strong finish to the campaign. Well, it's particularly galling when they see Ipswich doing what they're doing, Absolutely. having just been promoted yeah. from League One. They're second in the table, and uh, they could well be a Premier League team next season. I was at Norwich uh, earlier on in the campaign against Blackburn when they lost and it was uh, the latest in a, a series of defeats and there was a widespread expectation that he'd lose his job, Wagner, but he's still there. And uh, as we said earlier, there's been something of a revival. Canate for Liverpool. Bradley looking for the run of Diogo Jota. Cut back to Nunez. Back in it goes, just over the head of Gakpo, chance. Oh, Gakpo was on the far post, it was just over the head of Jones in front of him. And then Jack Stacey misses the ball, and Gakpo, I think, is just that little bit, uh, not uh, unsighted, really, should have been expecting the ball, yes, yeah, swerves away, a little bit windy, perhaps. Wind away from Jack Stacey, a bit of gust of wind, perhaps. And, uh, maybe just the curl, and just snatches out that volley, decent chance. Nine goals this season in all competitions. Gakpo in 29 appearances. Never scored in the FA Cup. I'd certainly like to put that right today. I certainly think we're going to be craning our necks to the left quite a lot in this first half based on the opening eight minutes. And, uh, Ashley Barnes is going to have to do a lot of unselfish running. No, he's a guy who shouldn't be phased by whatever's thrown at his team today. Been here before with Burnley on a number of occasions, scored the winner here, I believe. It's a COVID effective campaign. We're going through a horrendous run of home form. Along with uh, Grant Hanley. Uh, two guys should be looking to, in their sport to uh, deliver big performances. Even if individually they're not sparkling, and to help coordinate other players and have a good communication to help some of the young players along the way. Here's Darwin Nunez for Liverpool. Out to Connor Bradley. And Callum trying to stop the service coming in. Connell. Yogo Jota back to the teenager McConnell. Gomez. Gakpo. McCallum it is who heads away. A little bit flatter atmosphere wise, I would say, Gary. To be honest, that's what I expected. I think it will actually take Norwich City to perhaps have one or two chances, which would be great for us as neutrals. A bit of uh, jeopardy in the game for. Home fans feel as if there's real danger from the championship side. They raise the level of their players as well if they believe there's a genuine threat today. Unsurprisingly, Liverpool bossing possession. Nunez! 
is. Smacks the upright with a delightful curler, which had long scrambling. Big opportunity, and he did pretty much everything right here. Nothing wrong with this attempt at all. Terrific hit. Goalkeeper sees it all the way, but he's perhaps thinking that Nunes is not going to shoot from there, is he? Took that so quickly. Lots of curl on the ball. The meet of the post. Well, he's into double figures this season, Nunez. Saw him score a wonderful winner in the League Cup at Bournemouth when uh, Liverpool really needed it at that stage. And two goals he scored against uh, Newcastle early on in the campaign, coming off the bench to win the game. I thought then that was an opportunity for him to really move on, fill the confidence after that. He suffered a barren run after that. Says so something that's not quite right about uh, perhaps your game and lacking in confidence. Some goals he scored. Now he's well acclimatised to everything at the football club and the country, culture-wise. Too many excuses for him moving forward. I think the manager certainly feels that even if he's not scoring, he's contributing massively to that front line. And that was very a ball's width away from giving Liverpool the early lead they crave here. Gakpo. Well, Needed his left foot to drive towards that goal line. And fire the ball across. That's been a lot to put in a decent cross in this kind of angle with your right foot. You can take a deflection. Turning up the heat, Liverpool, but not any clean opportunities so far. Third corner for the Reds. Swinger from Cody Gakpo, big header away from Gibson. He relishes those uh, aerial battles. Gomez to Ryan Gravenberg, he's uh, really made a terrific impact in his first season at Liverpool. Another one who's capable of the spectacular. Scored a beautiful goal here in the League Cup against Leicester. Back in the third round, smashed it in from the edge of the box. One of the new signings, no matter how much they paid for you, irrespective of your age, in the full season really to get to grips with what's required. So you know, the next other slides have a little bit of a dip after an outstanding start to the campaign, back on the bench today after missing a few games through injury. So you'll uh, feel a little bit about himself mentally wants a very draining campaign at this level in the Premier League. McCallum for Norwich. On it goes to Hernandez, the Cuban. Now volleyed forward to Fasnacht. On the outside is Jack Stacey. And he's normally someone who provides really reliable service from the right-hand side. Not on this occasion. Jones gets it away. And I don't think Liverpool will mind if Norwich starts to commit players forward because it'll leave these sorts of gaps. Here's Diogo Jota. Nunez! Strained every sinew to try and get on the end of that, but failed. So nearly. I thought that Gravenberg could have perhaps have released that ball slightly early in the end. It gets to Diogo Jota. It's a terrific cross, isn't it? Knowing exactly what he would like service-wise. Just a little bit too pacey. And that's why I think Cody Gapo should have been thinking about that type of cross a few minutes earlier. Defence stretch, running back towards their own goal. There's very little chance of defenders making a decent clearance of that. Most touches like that from a centre-back or full-back end up in the back of your own net. Well, that's exactly what we were saying about how the, that front three is essentially entirely interchangeable and it does keep defenders on their toes. Out of bear. Jones. These are players who are rotating as well, Gary. Just that different look all the time. You might not be getting the best of a defender on your side. I think that you need to be looking to the coach and think, you know, can I change? Can I swap? Just do it. So it's some responsibility.
Norwich very disciplined and well drilled. It's hard to do that for 90 minutes here. McConnell. Jones is in there. There's the opening goal with a quarter to an hour gone. Curtis Jones heading it across the goalkeeper into the far corner for his third FA Cup goal. And all the congratulations go to the youngster McConnell with the assist. What a pass from young James McConnell. What about this for measuring exactly how much weight is required on this delivery? Terrific pass, look at that with his left foot. Just drifted it towards that far post. It says to Curtis Jones, you can do anything with that. You can let the ball just drop that little bit further, volley it with your left foot, headed back across goal for a teammate. There was nobody there in truth, and Curtis Jones guided that superbly past George Long. Terrific header, but made far easier by the quality of the pass. Scored and applauded by everybody. Superb delivery. Curtis Jones. Beautiful pass, beautiful header. Liverpool's 149th goal against Norwich City in their history. And exactly the sort of start Jurgen Klopp and his players wanted. It's been a good fixture for Liverpool over recent years. And Suarez in particular thrived in this match, didn't he, both home and away? He certainly did, hat-trick after hat-trick. Oh, it's uh, another good low ball into the box this time by Connor Bradley. Youngsters to the fore here. And Norwich really are under the cosh. Yeah, so just before we kicked off, you have to give an all-rounder, don't you, in his current Liverpool side, and McConnell has shown already that he's got... Good passing range. Locals will love that. You can see the way Norwich is set up without the ball. Line of four, line of five. Ashley Barnes trying to stop anyone going past him, trying to stay compact. And that's a free kick to Norwich. I certainly take that just to ease a little bit of pressure. I think we talked about craning our necks to the left, and look at that. It's all Liverpool. Yeah, to be expected. David Wagner and the coaching staff would have anticipated that. They've been doing well prepared for that in the last couple of days, concentrating on this fixture. nobody in the championship who will dominate them like they have been dominated so far so your levels of concentration have to be at their absolute highest to even come close to a position today lovely from Gakpo but equally impressive from Kenny McLean to win possession back for the Canaries Stacey towards Barnes, that's an easy header for Konate. McConnell. Bradley. Kwanzaa. David Wagner and Ashley Barnes in particular would just like that little bit more quality when they get the opportunity to just flip a few balls into him. He's a get -up, just back in defenders. Probably bringing people into play when they come to support him. I think he should perhaps just conserve his energy and get involved in this area of the field defensively. Just standing around about the centre circle inside his own half. Just where he went there. Where he Canate, just picked up the ball just now. There we go, right there. And don't need to be coming back too much deeper than that, if at all. It's Gabriel Sara who's barely touched the ball in the opening 20 minutes. Good tackle from McConnell. Gibson. Hanley. This is actually McLean who uh, stepped into that position. Yeah, a couple of times at centre-back, hasn't he? James McLean as well. Kenny McLean. Well, definitely not James. Here's yeah. <laughs> Jones. 
Oh, good tackle from Nunez. McCallum. Wants the return and gets it. Ashley Barnes in the middle. Not quite there, but here's a chance maybe for Fasnacht, who delayed and allowed Gomez to make the block. That's a super break. Good signs from Norwich, and indeed not a bad sign for Liverpool. It's talked about Liverpool being able to hit on the counter-attack. Potentially it was a good cross, wasn't it, from Sam McCallum. Just that little bit heavy for Ashley Barnes, not the quickest of strikers. So, first corner for Norwich City. You do feel they've got to try and make the most of these because their chances will be limited. They've got a very good set-piece technician over the ball in Gabriel Sara here. He's in towards Barnes, he's he's in towards uh, Gibson, should I say, he was left holding his head. Yeah, that was a good delivery. He's trying to beat the first couple of men. Your own first man, ideally as well, if he makes that run beyond the near post. Sara once more, it's in! There's the equaliser! It's Ben Gibson! The perfect corner kick! Becker beaten! And Norwich City a level! A lovely curling delivery and a fine header from the big centre-back. Well, he's been in two play, I mean, James McConnell is not really defending that six-yard box, is he? There's uh, Diogo Jota, who is a good header of the football, really should be just moving towards his left a little bit. As once, actually comes off his back, doesn't it? Off the back of Ben Gibson, they all count. He muscles Gravenberg out of the way, who in truth, I mean, that's, that's poor defending, doesn't really get off, off, off the ground. And that kind of service, delivery-wise, is, is meat and drink to a player like Ben Gibson. Well, can you believe this is his 106th Norwich appearance, and that is his first goal for the Canaries. It's also his first ever FA Cup goal at the 18th time of asking. And it's all square. Liverpool have the lead for just five minutes. was their very first shot of the match. Sometimes that's all we need, ask Maidstone United. Indeed. Had two shots, scored them both to win at Ipswich yesterday. One of the big upsets of this competition's history. Really sloppy goal for Liverpool to concede. Yeah, defending certainly could have been better out than the post, but in truth, you, you'll accept that. You know, uh, good players can punish you with that kind of delivery. I think it's actually a great thing for the contest as neutrals that launch back on level terms and quickly. And it's given away by young McConnell here, stays his ball in. Too close to Alisson. Just another little reminder for Liverpool that uh, they may not have this all their own way. Side, wasn't it? You know, Hernandez to McCallum, and then teasing cross. Ashley Barnes wasn't able to get on the end up with the, with the corner out of it. Two, second one did the trick. Bradley off McCallum, awkward that for McLean. Hernandez battling there with Bradley. There's a handball on the top of the shirt. Get away with Hernandez. Tackle by McCallum. All stayed in. They do back themselves in these areas, Norwich, McCallum brought down. And Bradley penalised. That means Norwich have scored in seven of their last eight visits to Anfield. Good for the Liverpool youngsters. A little taste of what the FA Cup is about. Huge expectation, of course, wearing a shirt in any competition. And there's 
now. Just that little bit of more energy in the crowd, isn't it? There's certainly plenty of energy in the away end. Gomez. Jones. Gakpo. Gomez. Jones. Gomez with a curling ball towards Diogo Jota. Behind it goes for a goal kick. This is the Curtis Jones goal again. And then this is the Norwich one. As simple as you like. He's Queen. waited a long time for that goal. Queen. Queen head and the other one, not quite a header. Off the shoulder stroke back, but they all count. What a time and what a place to get your first Norwich City goal. <laughs> He's got one before Joe Gomez as well, isn't he? Yep. I mean, Joe Gomez has yet to score a goal in his entire career. Yeah. <laughs> That's the difference. Which is amazing, isn't it? 227 appearances. They need to give him a penalty, don't they? In the, the game is won somewhere just to break his dock. That may open the floodgates. Hadley. Risky. Gakpo couldn't take the ball with him. Jack Stacey. Get it away. Going up to Barnes. Excellent centre forward play. There we go. He's great up there. Play right behind him. No panic. Just take the ball down and whatever hit is coming can absorb the contact and keep the football. 34 years of age, Ashley Barnes, certainly been around the block. Played here many times. Nicely done by Bradley. And he's got the return, and he's rolled it into Nunez. Oh, what a goal for Liverpool! They're back in front, and it's their Uruguayan Darwin Nunez with a superb finish, but it's another young player, Connor Bradley, who made it. Well, Sam McCallum takes a chance, doesn't he? Instead of perhaps just heading the ball forward to Arne Alejandez, he decides to try and go around the outside. And Liverpool are so quick to steal the ball, as you say, Conor Bradley with some terrific work. And the early pass as well, Nunez, I mean, that's a cultural finish. Did the slash at it, side foot finish this is. Sees it, can't adjust his body position to send it to the goalkeeper's left. Jules Long has got no chance. Precision finishing. Terrific goal. He enjoyed that one as well he might, his 11th of the season. Second career FA Cup goal for Darwin Nunez, who is absolutely adored here. And what an excellent opening half an hour we've had. Thrilling stuff. Long from long, up towards the chest of Barnes. Nunez. Grant Hanley. And Jonathan Rowe, and sorry, going out, but Jonathan Rowe, no. And Josh Sargent, two players, and certainly going to give a Norwich just that little bit extra. An attacking threat to complement Ashley Barnes. Giving it away again. Bravenberg trying to get the ball in. Reflected behind for a corner. They know that Norwich want to back themselves to play it out, but it's a dangerous game. Well, Liverpool have conceded from a corner. 
could they score from one? A third of the contest gone. Liverpool 2 1 up. Cody Gakpo goes short looking for Diogo Jota. They read it. Ryan Gravenberg to his left hand side and Curtis Jones. McConnell. One set. Gravenberg. Gomez, clever ball, Gakpo's in there! Oh, well, well, it looked like it was going to be 3-1 all the way, didn't it? I thought he saved it, but apparently not, it's gone wide. It's a mystic, isn't it, from Cody Gakpo? Lovely ball from Joe Gomez, always oh, well wide. Nowhere near the goalkeeper. Great touch, that from Bradley. What a chance. And it could be a chance here, cleared off the line by Gibson. In it goes by Bradley. Gibson away again. They are once again under siege here, Norwich City. Playing out again, what, what a risky ball that is. That terrible decision made by the goalkeeper. Gravenberg, well, pivots, turns, doesn't get enough purchase behind it. Good stop on the line from the captain, I think it was, Grant Hanley. Wow, you've actually got five Liverpool players in and around the box and you play that pass out from the back, come on. You've got to mix it up, surely. It's OK on occasion to ignore the coach's instructions. Well, many a time where you just feel that it's, it's not right for you. The... In by Gakpo. And straight out by Gakpo. Maybe wind assisted that one. Yeah. The situation in the, in the game, Gary, potentially perhaps you're feeling yourself you know, you have to do something you're not quite, quite feeling comfortable with it. Play your way around it. This is Bradley's contribution yeah. to the, the, the second, second goal. goal. Overcommitted on that far side. And Gibson gets drawn out. Instead of just sitting back and saying, well, OK, Team Ed has lost it, been dispossessed so far from goal. Let me wait for players to recover. Once I dive out, it big gaps, quality players will punish you so often. There is a little bit of the Andy Robertson, isn't there, about Bradley just on yeah. the other side. Indeed. And if you're a forward, you relish that type of service. I think he's been brilliant. He's not been bad either, has he? No. Nope. <laughs> Canate this season. Not been bad at all. A good man at the back. Certainly Liverpool have got Norwich right where they want them at the moment. A lot of work still to do, it's only 2-1, but it's just chance after chance. McConnell. Diogo Jota trying to smuggle that through to Gravenberg, McCallum in the way. He's uh, had a lot of defending to do McCallum, and that's a late one on Gravenberg, so that'll be a free kick to Liverpool. Can decide today, McCallum, and uh, goodness me, he's been busy. Most of the stuff from Liverpool has come down the right side as well. Had to work hard, it's painful. Right on the top of the foot. I should just say, by the way, that the draw for the next round, the fifth round, will be uh, half time in this game. Gakpo, Kwanzaa, knocked back by Diogo Jota, Bradley to Gakpo, hit it against McCallum, Bradley, big header that time from Hanley, grab him there, McConnell, just the perfect game for these young players to showcase their talents and abilities, and they're certainly doing that. That's where Norwich have got to look after the ball better. A rushed clearance and immediately given away. Yes, the right out ball is difficult to find. It's largely one play that 
looking to uh, to play with or two. Most advantage needs to be in plus one very quickly. Never easy when a side as good as Liverpool is keen on the press. Ten minutes left in the first half. Ravenberg. McConnell. Bradley with the ball in, intercepted by the Scott, Kenny McLean. It's been a draining first half for Norwich, doing an awful lot of work without the ball. This is Cody Gakpo. Uh, Fasnack, the Swiss forward, tracking him back. Fifth corner for the Reds. In swinger from Gakpo. Just over Nunez. It'll be another corner. Jota was flying in, good head of the ball, but he was well covered. Off the back of Stacey. From uh, Newton and uh, Bournemouth fullback. Made a big impression since signing for Norwich on the south coast. Gakpo with the corner. Becker is playing. <laughs> to pick the ball out of the net once, and I think not to do it again, of course. Right now, I think he could just hand his strip back to the kit man unwashed. <laughs> McConnell. Jones. Grab him there. One set. He's given that away, but uh, so too did Fastnacht. And there's a chance for Gakpo. Once again, it wasn't the contact he wanted. Yeah, snatched out that, didn't get the ball out of his feet, really. That's good recovery from Diogo Jota. Uh, Drag-wise. Three opportunities, that's not a real chance, but I expect a cleaner connection, one that he volleyed over the bar early on in the game. And of course, the almost complete miss hit that went past the post. This time, Barnes isn't able to hold on to it, he's under a lot of pressure from a young Jarrell Quanza. McConnell. Well, he's got an eye for a pass, hasn't he? Right for this time, nearly got there. Have to be patient of a pull, aren't they? But very good at all of a sudden turning up the heat when they get close to the Norwich uh, penalty area. And even more so, actually, when they uh, retrieve the ball. See if that really lights the fire. They're so pleased that the position's made a, a mistake in that area. A little slip from McConnell. Norwich look to spring forward. Yeah, pass. Yeah, the two centre backs have mopped that up. Yeah, should have gone there. Well, it's not likely to outrun Quanta or Canate. Pressing from Norwich there, almost accepting that uh, they're going to have to let Liverpool have the ball in these areas, try and nick it before launching the counter. Nunez, Gomez, 
against some sides, even in the Premier League, you would say they could bring that defensive defensive line up five or six yards and try and steal the ball in the middle of the park. But Liverpool have got some pace up front with Nunez in particular. Not particularly uh, fast runners outside of Nunez, but certainly people who can shift the ball quickly. There's that risk once you don't to be uh, exposed on the uh, through ball all over the top. Good defending here from Arnel Hernandez. Doesn't have to do a lot of that in the championship week in, week out, but very different story here at Anfield against the Premier League leaders. Gabriel Sarah has gone over, there was no foul. Great result, of course, for Norwich would be a victory here today. Second best is a replay. I think actually uh, David Wagner will like that, certainly Jürgen Klopp will be extremely displeased with having to go to Carroll Road to play another match. We've got enough uh, quality on the bench as well to perhaps see the tie out if Norwich get back on level terms. Yeah, especially because Liverpool have got a midweek game yeah. this week. They play here against Chelsea on Wednesday. They won't want a midweek game next week as well. Yeah, Arsenal at the weekend in the Premier League. Yeah, Arsenal away yeah, Arsenal next away. Sunday. It's a big week, isn't it? Chelsea home, Arsenal away in the space of four days. And the bench has turned things for Jurgen Klopp and his players in recent weeks. I hoping that continues now with the returning Alexander Arnold. I mean, so Bosley and Andy Robertson, Robertson and Alexander Arnold, uh, Robertson in particular, have been out for quite a few months. A fantastic reception if he makes the field today. Didn't get on against Fulham, did he, in the League Cup tie, second leg? No. Yeah, Fulham ran them close, didn't they? And he won all on the night, that was enough to get through. He yeah, has a nervy last ten minutes. It was. Also. Been in control for long periods. That is the voice of Efren Koku, by the way, who is uh, leading the line here for Norwich. The last time they won here at Anfield, nearly 30 years ago. He was a very young man then, Efren. Practically a fetus. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, Not quite, but <laughs> I get your point. <laughs> My mum's listening, you know. What are you talking about? <laughs> Grab him back. Gomez shoots is the shout. Just too much on it for Diogo Jota. And Jurgen Klopp would like the starting eleven to put uh, the team in a position whereby he can reintroduce those players, perhaps even half time for one or two. Certainly in about minute 60-65. Robertson remains the first choice left back. I'd like to see him back in action and competitive in the next two or three weeks with enough game time. Konate. Well, there are moments of encouragement for Norwich City here. And we said set pieces would be important. That certainly proved to be the case. But. Uh, they're still very much in the tie, even though Liverpool have dominated. And actually, although uh, Liverpool have had nearly 70% possession, they've only actually had eight attempts. So they haven't peppered George Long's goal. Gibson's come up here for the long throw. This is something that McCallum's good at. A what throw. a brilliant throw, and Hanley got his head to it, just couldn't lift it over Allison. Liverpool have given it away. McLean. Brilliant from Kenny McLean, but just too close to the goalkeeper. But again, little flashes of encouragement for the Canaries. Yeah, good signs. Reminded to the players, just got to hang in there defensively. And they're bound to get one or two other opportunities if it remains. Just uh, the one goal between the two sides. 
It was a massive throw, wasn't it, from Sam McCallum? I'm sure the Liverpool coaches staff had done their homework, would have been aware of that. How the players would have experienced it firsthand. It's amazing how often a long throw can cause more problems than a set piece into the box. So we are into two minutes of stoppage time at the end of this first half. What an entertaining 45 it has been. Liverpool desperate to get this third goal, which might put it to bed. Might. Nunez, his goal separates the sides. Gomez, you hardly need me to tell you that he's on the ball. Huge cry of shoot. Nunez pulling out wide here. So Bosley will if he gets onto the field today, that's for sure. 5.30 yards out, only technician. Toe to the ball, then Barnes wins the free kick. No rush. See the half out for Norwich City. Take the one goal deficit. It's been a decent half of football, not seen too many fireworks. Yeah, it hasn't necessarily gone exactly the way Jurgen Klopp would have liked. By my reckoning, he's probably got. 28, 29 games still to go. And this one at half time sees his Liverpool team 2 1 to the good. Lovely header from Curtis Jones with a quarter of an hour play. Ben Gibson back over the ball. Now for Sam Barrett. That's the second half underway, as you were in terms of personnel. And the tie. Delicately and fascinatingly poised with Liverpool 2 1 up. They'll know that uh, the next goal is of paramount importance. The draw has been made, by the way, for the last 16. The winner of this tie will be at home to either Watford or Southampton of the Championship. That is currently Watford 1, Southampton 0, with 20 minutes to go. So uh, Liverpool will know if they get through this, they'll be at home to another championship side in the next round. Jurgen Klopp will certainly take that. But they've got to win this one first. One set. Very nearly caught in possession by Nunez. That's the from Joe Gomez. He's just half asleep. Night you're away. Decent run, as we said, Norwich. Eight wins from the last 16 in all competitions. You couldn't see that coming not so long ago when they really were in the doldrums. Bradley on Jota, chance for Gakpo. He certainly had his fair share of chances in this game. Jones, Gomez. Looking for Darwin Nunez. Difficult one to head back for a teammate, to be honest. A bit too high, however, for him to take it on his chest. It's a good block, isn't it, from Norwich defence? Now that's given away. And Ashley Barnes has been fouled by McConnell. Well, he's learning the dark heart tale, isn't he? <laughs> and James McConnell. Thou shall not pass. There we go. Equally, I think Ashley Barnes probably quite happy to win that free kick. 
the teammate who was away, he was expecting the contact, it came. As I said, you've got to be able to do a little bit of everything in the middle of the park. Sometimes as a midfield player. Now, McCallum has nipped in unseen. That wasn't really the ball he wanted, but uh, they'll keep it going. Oh, what a hit that was. Well, he struck that beautifully. Gabriel Sara, the Brazilian. That had Becker worried. What about this for technique? Look at that. Super hit. A little bit of swerve at the end, just taken away from the goal. Becker's got it covered if it's on target. That was their second attempt. Bradley. Well, they're winning the ball high up the pitch again here, Norwich. We saw Liverpool dominate Fulham in the second leg of the League Cup a few days ago. In truth, you don't ever feel as if there's going to be a game with absolutely no tension in it, no matter how comfortable your side looks. That will be the case today, and Liverpool will have to resort to the bench in order to be able to see this game through. Nunez. Decide to be uh, drained too much. Look at the big matches coming up next week. Bradley of Northern Ireland, headed away by McCallum. Great season on loan at uh, Bolton last year. Bradley you know, really stepping up. Bradley again. McConnell. Diogo Jota to McConnell again. Lovely little triangle of passes. Gomez. Jones, Gakpo, Curtis Jones. Oh, well, we've seen him put them in the top corner from there before and in this competition. Great effort. A little bit uh, tighter an angle it was against Everton a few years ago. Not that close in the end. The goalkeeper scrambling. They are hanging on in there, Norwich. <laughs> Team managers, of course, very, very good friends for many years. In fact, Jürgen Klopp says in his programme notes, I regard him as a best friend and brother. He's, uh, Best man at Jurgen Klopp's wedding. David Wagner did know that uh, Jurgen Klopp had decided to call it quits quite a long time ago. Not many others did. Kept that one quiet, didn't they? They did. I think that's the reason of the timing, to be honest. It's bound to slip out from somebody sooner or later. Gakpo. Oh. Big appeal from the cop for handball. And was by the side, I think. Certainly asked all the right questions, that ball. McCallum. Just over the head of Gabriel Sara. Everybody would love to stay in the competition, but in truth, I think Norwich City would like a resolution somewhere, somewhere, somehow, or, or other today. Play a lot more matches they do in the Championship, of course. Heavy schedule for them over the next couple of months. Eyes on uh, 
finishing in the playoff places. Oh, that ball looking for Diogo Jota comes off Gibson. Jota scores and makes it 3 1. A landmark goal for Liverpool. They're 750th in the FA Cup. Gibson eventually laid it on a plate for the Portuguese striker to hammer it home. That is an emphatic finish from Diogo Jota. Fantastic ball, a teasing one from Curtis Jones, driven some 40 or so yards. Difficult for Ben Gibson to deal with it. In truth, he's been a little bit too measured with that header, trying to find his defensive teammate, Grant Hanley, here, gets it all wrong. Not enough meat behind it. Sits up perfectly for Jota, doesn't it? Look at that for the finish. Controlled, volleyed past the goalkeeper. Such a cool finisher, the Portuguese. His 12th goal of the season. Fifth career goal in the FA Cup. And has that taken this tie away from Norwich City? Perfect start to the second half for the Reds. The Norwich fans will tell you that's not the first big mistake they've seen from Ben Gibson this season. See the action on the uh, Liverpool bench, it looks like a triple change is coming up, particularly now Liverpool have got that two-goal cushion. Hernandez has given away the free kick here. Now, was that handball? Well, a little flip away, isn't it, with the right hand? It's his left hand to begin with, yeah, and the chest. It's in that verse, it's certainly not deliberate. Well, Jones has had an excellent 54 minutes, a goal and an assist. And on comes Dominic Soboslai, the Hungarian. Had a bit of brain freeze in the first half when I said that Gravenberg had scored that brilliant goal against Leicester in the League Cup. It was, of course, Soboslai. Off goes uh, Joe Gomez to be replaced by Andy Robertson. And Virgil van Dijk will replace Konate. An embarrassment of riches for Liverpool. Van Dijk takes the armband. And a big cheer for Robertson, of course, has had a long time out through injury. His first appearance since October. And Robertson was an unused sub against Fulham in midweek, but uh, now plays his first game since uh, the 2-2 draw at Brighton. Seems a long time ago. More energy, more freshness introduced by Jürgen Klopp. Van Dijk straight into the action. Gakpo. by Kwanzaa. We have a new central defensive partner now. He's moved over to the right side. David Wagner looking on rather wistfully at the uh, three subs coming on. <laughs> so what did we do to deserve this? In truth, they were, I think they decided that before the Ergo went in from Diogo Jota. He can't bring on anyone of that quality, that's for sure. Bradley. Soboslai. McConnell. Home fans baying for more, singing the name of Andy Robertson. He's been much missed. Nunez now on the left. Bradley. 
He is a fullback, by the way. <laughs> you wouldn't know by his touch map. Not a problem for Allison. Barnes trying his luck. Why not? He's on target. So all of uh, 55 odd yards, much more. <laughs> Like David Wagner is pondering a triple change of his own because so uh, we can see Borja signs the Spanish forward Adam Eder another forward and Jacob Sorensen another one sails over the bar from uh, Adam Bear for this time just go back to the uh, earlier one from Barnes here didn't get the elevation did he he was scrambling back towards his own line, Allison. But in the end, it was a simple take. Great noise around Anfield. Fastnacht. Back to Stacey. As usual, the announcement should have a packed calendar for February thinking about protecting one or two players and reducing the amount of wear and turn in late Norwich uh, next Saturday. Uh, yeah, sorry, a Coventry at home next Saturday. In form, uh, Coventry, yeah. aren't they? Really pressing for the playoffs, Coventry, after a shocking start to the mm. season. And a couple of games in hand, didn't they, I remember? Uh, themselves again under Mark Robbins, former Norwich City player, of course, former teammate of mine. And hugely underrated manager longest serving manager in the championship what a job he's done just missed out on the uh, playoff final last season of course lost on penalties to Luton now Barnes out to Onel Hernandez no way through there City wanted a free kick, McConnell went on good passing range, not afraid of a tackle, McLean felt that. He got some of the ball. Mm. Fortuitously. Yes, when any time you go leading with your stuff like that, you're in danger of mistiming it and being in trouble. VAR had a look that we play on. Another of these long throws. Now, McCallum put this first one right on the money in the first half. You may remember Hanley got his head to it. He's going to make the changes first by the looks of things. All her signs on the left there. Be the first one on. Adam Ida and... Jacob Sorensen of Denmark, so Anel Hernandez is the first one off. Ashley Barnes' work is done, and as you said, Evan, I think that's more of a compliment really to how much he's needed for upcoming games. Adam Eder, the Republic of Ireland forward, comes on seven goals this season. And Grant Hanley, of course, only just returned from long-term injury, so he will also go off. Well, that's certainly not a like-for-like -like swap. He might push McLean back into defence. Long throw from McCallum. Didn't get the first contact this time. Stacey. Nunez, Marcelino Nunez, that is, not to be confused with Darwin. Yeah, such a step up in terms of quality they're facing here today, Norwich City there. Skimmed it away. Chance, square ball to Darwin Nunez. Deflected behind for a corner, well found by Sabozlai, but again, Norwich, their own worst enemies. Very little time on the ball. Passes have got to be just that little bit more precise. I thought Sabozla was just going to take that on himself and shoot. Gibson was caught in no man's land, really. He was trying to go for that interception across the 
face of the penalty, I didn't get there. Seventh corner for Liverpool to be taken by Sabozlai. Oh, Van Dijk! Free header, 4-1. Wretched defending from Norwich City. Van Dijk nets just his second goal of the season. Well, they conceded from a corner, now they've scored from one. Looks like a pre-arranged routine, doesn't it? Pretty much on a penalty spot. Virgil van Dijk, great header. Wasn't quite in the corner. I think he's just taken the goalkeeper, George Long, by surprise. Curling towards him, but perhaps didn't see it early enough. Terrific corner from Sabozlai. And a top header from Virgil van Dijk. Of course, always helps when you're completely unmarked. Just had to focus on making good connection, which he did. That surely makes the tie safe now even though we've got almost half an hour to play and we should say in the game at Vicarage Road in form Southampton have equalized late on through Stuart Armstrong 89th minute so that should preserve Southampton's long long unbeaten record that'll make it 22 games unbeaten so Wait for you. that'll be a replay from the Norwich City um, player of course on Martin, very much so. Played for them in the Premier League under uh, Paul Lambert. Looks like Trent Alexander Arnold will be coming on <laughs> just to really rub salt in Norwich wounds. Gakpo, Diogo Jota was waiting. McCallum's header straight to Bradley. Well, it's a good job for Norwich that he tucked inside there. McCallum. Yeah, good header. Quite aware of where Diogo Jota was and got some height on it. Finding his teammates time to get back defensively, which they did. Darwin Nunez gets a standing ovation, having netted the second Liverpool goal in real style. They love him here. Bit of a showman, isn't it? And uh, on comes Trent Alexander-Arnold. They love the effort, Gary. First and foremost, you've got to be a real tryer. Giving uh, absolutely your all every time you're playing. No one can ever accuse Nunez of not putting in a real shift. And the goals you would expect with the service he has. The players on the side should come. Well, they scored from the last corner. So Bosley looks for Van Dijk again. Alexander Arnold's first touch. Grab him there. Alexander Arnold again, urged to shoot. Instead, he's given it away to McCallum. Look how quickly So Bosley wins that back. One or two Norwich shoulders starting to slump here. They know the game is surely up. Always going to be a desperately difficult task coming here. Not just on the back of the Jurgen Klopp news, but with Liverpool in the form they're in, leading the Premier League. And uh, going for a quadruple. Jurgen Klopp's played that down, of course. But it's very much a possibility. As he should, yeah, the last attempt at a quadruple. In, uh, two of the four. The two minor trophies and would have preferred to be Lee Chambers once again and Champions League winners. They did sort of complete the set, didn't they? Trophies won. I was well aware so many things can happen between now and the end of the campaign. Just uh, the top club is very good at looking just the next game. for Norwich McCallum oh that's nicely worked for Hussain squares it and into the net by Fasnacht oh no the flag goes up not against Fasnacht but against for Hussain's 
one for VAR to look at. Certainly was offside initially when he thought the ball was going to come to him. Now, did he get himself back into an onside position? No, he doesn't. Nowhere near. No, really offside. Not a difficult one in the end. Frustration for the Spaniard and for Fasnac to hammer it into the roof of the net. Surprised it took that long, to be honest. Midway through the second half. No, you can't rely on technology, Gary. <laughs> There's a glitch in the system. Very nearly a lovely touch for uh, Graven Bear. Back it goes to George Long. He's had one or two dicey moments. For Hussain's shoot, say the Norwich fans. He does! Oh, what a scintillating strike! Alisson beaten by a Bor Hussain's thunderbolt. No wonder he's blowing kisses to the away end. That's a cracker. Well, pick that one out, Alisson Becker. There's the goal of the game so far. Invitation was there, Van Dijk doesn't get close enough, no real intention to close him down. He yeah, has a little look at Sainz, if to say, you're not going to shoot from there, are you? Do you know who's in goal for us? And Sainz says, I don't care. This is my moment. Terrific, just inside the post. That's brought life back into the contest. His first FA Cup goal, certainly a memorable one, his fourth of the season. The Norwich, and it's 4-2. Great goal. Have a bit of that. <laughs> right past Alisson to reduce the deficit to two. Just moments after they'd had one disallowed. We've been thoroughly entertained here, haven't we? These two. Twenty minutes still to go. It's a long time, you know. I said the uh, best goal of the day so far. Who knows what could happen? Suddenly, what a belief there. Uh, Norwich is. Uh, Fasnack tries to bring it forward. He's lost it. And that could spell danger. No foul, Bradley. The Watford Southampton game has finished 1 1. Here is Connor Bradley for Liverpool. Calling two minds perhaps as to whether to square it or shoot. And then he's conceded the free kick. Yeah, the ball, I think, was just a little bit stuck underneath his feet as well as he was about to send it across the face of the goal. A little bit too close to him. His body shape wasn't quite right to find a teammate. So just to reiterate, Southampton's club record unbeaten run continues, 22 games now. Without defeat, they will host Watford in a replay in a week and a half's time to see who will face the winner of this tie in the last 16. Ida did well there, for her science again. Throw to Norwich, be another long one, you'd imagine. And the away end there, very expectant, hoping that their side could nick a third goal. Here goes. Sam McCallum, Gibson got a touch. You can see how much more of the ball Liverpool have had, as you said earlier, Ref, and that's no surprise.
David Wagner would certainly have expected that. Quite used to seeing a lot of the ball in the Championship, but uh, mm. not when you play the Premier League leaders away. Well, the shift in mindset Mark, must always be difficult for teams that are one of the best at that level, except now that completely different game plan that the coaching staff have put before you. So Bosley needs no invitation. I should say that uh, Jacob Sorensen has slotted in alongside uh, Gibson. Robertson. Van Dijk. Quanse. And long enough for Norwich not to have to uh, think about forcing the issue. Still not continue with their game plan that has been employed or some um, type of uh, situation that Liverpool have enforced upon them. Aware of uh, the clock, I would imagine, to some extent, some of the players. Akpo. Sabozlai. Bradley in by Alexander Arnold and towards Diogo Jota. He was off balance. A lovely ball to find him though. Yeah. A little bit more height perhaps, Diogo Jota. He's great at that, isn't he? Just leans into defenders. Such a good head of the ball for a guy who's not particularly big. Just if you're a little bit behind him. But you expect him to hit the target more often than not when he gets uh, chances with his head. Certainly seen plenty of the ball where it matters, as you can see. Norwich <laughs> have won an FA Cup tie here at Anfield, by the way. But it was in 1909 when they were a non-league side to rarity. Give it away to Fasnacht. Stacy. All zip about Norwich again now. They've got that second goal. Just a hint that it might get a bit ugly for them at 4-1, but uh, they've dug in. Quance's header. Not a good one. Straight to Gabriel Sara. Very good ball from him as well to find Borja Sainz. Nunez. Oh, that's very ambitious. Land in one from outside the box. <laughs> that one was certainly not troubling Allison from the Chilean. Yeah, McConnell's gone down. This is just uh, fatigue. Yeah, first senior start. And he's certainly giving it given everything for the Liverpool cause, so a bit of cramp is not a surprise. He yeah, actually thought he wouldn't last a 90 minutes. Maybe perhaps uh, Jurgen Klopp would recognise that. A very draining experience for the young kid. Maybe they've given him a 65 or so minutes. But sometimes, you know, when the young players are doing well, you just want to give them a head and just allow them to keep on performing. Don't see anything uh, in terms of coming together, no collision with a Norwich City player. David Wagner there has lost all three meetings with Klopp. The side didn't actually score in any of those three, so there's been an improvement there. Maybe beat him at cards or something. <laughs> Poker. Dominoes. Yeah, something must be. And, uh, the victory over his good friend out. 
Klopp said it's one of the few times where I don't want his team to win. Well, <laughs> they've got a young kid who's injured, so they're going to bring on Luis Diaz. Makes sense, even if he feels he's fit enough to continue. No need to overly stress the young kid. I think he's saying that he's okay. I bet he is. Yeah, sometimes you've got to be protected from yourself. Well, he's made his mark, isn't he, with uh, his whole family watching on. Got the brilliant assist for the opening goal and uh, certainly a glimpse into the Liverpool future. No wonder he gets a cuddle from Jurgen Klopp. 53, James, we'll see plenty more of him in the years to come. Meanwhile, Colombian international Luis Diaz comes on. Quance. Bradley. Oh, that's nice from Graven Bear. Gakpo's pullback, shot a great save. And somehow it hasn't gone in. Oh, what a scramble, what a stramash. And a phenomenal stop from George Long. Liverpool can't believe they haven't scored. Neither can I. I actually thought that Gakpo was offside when his ball is played into him. Tight, that may have come back anyway. Wow, what look at that second save. What a save. Jota with a miss kick, that's not bad to start with. But this is the showstopper. Yeah, look at that. Nice strong hand, you need that little bit of luck as well, the ball is really just fired at you. Two terrific stops. Yeah, it's not even close to being on the line, let alone beyond it. Terrific double save. Disbelief on the face of Diogo Jota. Nicely done by Ida. Look lively since coming on. Asked a little bit too much of McCallum, but they've managed to keep it going somehow. Norwich. Nunez out to Stacey. They would have wanted to play today. Everybody in that Norwich squad would like to have lined up. Huge occasion. The subject shoots have made an impression for the Canaries. Oh, that was a giveaway by McLean. Diogo Jota. Well, he gave it away, not once but twice. Certainly would have liked to have been in a situation. And his team find themselves in David Wagner, 10 minutes plus whatever stoppage time is allowed. But they're not completely out of the game. Actually, got 4 1, probably thinking, oh, it's not likely to happen, make a few substitutions. Alexander Arnold trying one of those trademark long diagonals. So just taking off uh, one or two players, Ashley Barnes in particular, to protect him for next week and beyond. But Jurgen Klopp would have uh, liked the game to be put to bed by now. Uh, to save the players any more emotional fatigue leading into what is another massive week for the home side. He's not going to get his wish, it appears. of their changes. David Wagner's got two more and they will be imminent. Janulis, the uh, Greek fullback, and, uh, young Liam Gibbs getting ready to come on. You have seen much of Andy Robertson on the far side. And sensibly he's you know, just sort of easing himself back into action.
to do a little bit too much there in the end. Did uh, grab him there. So here are the changes we promised you. Dimitris Yanulis on the left and 21-year-old uh, Liam Gibbs, the midfielder on the right. Off goes McCallum. He's certainly given plenty for the cause at left back today. We're also going to see the Swiss forward Christian Fasnacht depart. This is uh, the regular left back, really, for Norwich. 28th appearance of the season here. Nothing more that he can do. They need two goals to force a replay. That's a big ask. Seven minutes to go. Two unanswered goals, more importantly. But they've given Liverpool one or two scares here for sure. It hasn't been the men against boys procession that many predicted. Luis Diaz wins a corner. Stacey thinks that should be a goal kick. Took to pass well, didn't he, Jack Stacey? Yeah, that's a corner. Yeah. He not make them, didn't he? Yeah. Robertson with the latest corner. Van Dijk, it's up there again. All spinning and stopping, so this will have to be cleared. Ida. Straight behind for another corner. Found himself hopelessly hemmed in there. They're not picking up Van Dijk, that's for sure. Pull into double figures on corners. So Bosley to take this one. Van Dyke's there again. I think Ark on the ball is in, in the set pieces corner wise from Dominic to Bosley. Just gives you a little bit more time to adjust your run, especially if you're coming from deep. Which uh, Van Dyke did uh, for the actually wasn't that deep to be honest to start with from the early score, just by the penalty spot. Another thing uh, worth mentioning is that it's uh, obviously a game in which Mo Salah unavailable because of his Africa Cup of Nations commitments. This is the ninth time since Salah joined Liverpool that he's been unavailable for an FA Cup tie. Liverpool would have won all nine. It's hardly surprising when you look at the embarrassment of Riches in that forward line. A little injury that Salah has, I think, it's really beneficial for him. Term. In terms of uh, the rest of the season, it's a few weeks break. An opportunity once again for somebody else in the forward line to get a little bit more game time. So that hardly ever misses matches you know, through injuries. No, it's incredible, isn't it? And himself and Sadio Mane for a few campaigns are almost indestructible. I think it's in single figures, the number of Premier League games he's missed since joining. Bradley. Yeah, a few of those would have been away with Afcon yeah. a couple of years ago, and of course, this January. And you've got Alexander Arnold's long term replacement right here, haven't you, Bradley? Top class. The real thing taking the corner. Many more miles on the clock, you would imagine. Number 66. Well, he's been playing a lot further forward, isn't he? It's a good effect as well. Van Dyke wins it again. Is that four, four corners in a row now. Short this time. Diaz. So Bos line. Good stop from Long.
Played well. We're talking about players who would love to have made an appearance here tonight. Since they're not just gone, of course, his dad has played here many, many, on many an occasion. Well, his dad was in goal in that game we've been talking yes, about. He was. That 1 0 win for Norwich here in 94. Didn't have too much to do with that. <laughs> It's all that defending from the front, yeah. no doubt. Diaz. Two minutes plus stoppage time left. Alexander Arnold. Jota. Well, a typical Alexander Arnold strike. Beaten away by Long, and Jota couldn't put it away. Got a movement on that. Yeah, that ball was travelling. He makes that look ridiculously easy. <laughs> Alexander, Alexander Arnold. I'll tell you what, the kit man's done well to fit his full surname, hasn't he? And on the back of that shirt in a straight line. Very condensed font. Yeah, it's not that big a shirt. The biggest of guys, is it? Peter Schmeichel. In. Well, he's caught in possession there, Alexander Arnold. Borja Sainz couldn't sort his feet out. Oof, goodness me. Diving in there was Ida after uh, Alisson got it away. There's plenty of positives here, isn't there, for Norwich City? They'll be very cross at some of the goals they've conceded, but there's been some very, very bright moments from them. No, they've been competitive, all right. Not been a stroll in the park for Liverpool. I say so on the possession stats. It uh, can be made largely an irrelevance if not to be uh, efficient in the final third. How did he keep that in, Bradley? It's, uh, really nicely done. Diaz. By Sabozlai. Oh, and Diogo Jota over the bar again. Action replay. Andy Robertson made a great run. Sabozlai spotted him nice and early. Just not, a, not quite enough uh, in front of the Scotsman for him to get onto it. It'd be a rarity, wouldn't it? An Andy Robertson header. Well, I think he's the player of the match. Connor Bradley. Time. This is Gabriel Sarat. Oh, is still pushing for more here. Not a problem for Allison. Diogo Jota. Gakpo waiting right there, couldn't sort his feet out. You're right, I think it actually missed the goal goal, gone past the goalkeeper. He wasn't able to turn his foot goalwards enough to send it into what would have been, it appears, an unguarded net. He'd probably be lying awake tonight, Gakpo, wondering how on earth he hasn't scored in this game. He's had the chances. It's all academic now, though. Liverpool will be into round five again. Another championship side at home. So Bosley inside to Jota. Well, Hassan scored in possession. So Bosley, Alexander Arnold, ricochets kindly to Luis Diaz. Q forming in the middle, Robertson. Very good block on that by Stacey. He's been excellent down that side for Norwich yet again. I think they've actually defended pretty well in the large parts of the game, Norwich City. So I think you could pick holes in pretty much every goal that scored. And, you know, the, 
Gavin Nunez. The old sports will pull in control. Van Dijk. Point. No, it's coaching staff. And the Van Dijk header. Well, has signs. Wow. That was a strange ball because they had a break on there and there's a discussion going on. I know uh, Jurgen Klopp said he's running out of energy and I think you can totally understand that with the demands of the Premier League. But when you look at this squad, which he's completely rebuilt, Be another chance here for Diaz. Gakpo. Sabozlai. Oh, Long gets something on it. Desperate defending again. Diaz. Bradley. Somebody's down. Gakpo. Yeah, head injury. Just going back to that. You look at. He's rebuilt the front line, hasn't he? Apart from Salah, he's rebuilt the midfield. You look at the youngsters. On show, being tugged as well, isn't he? Cody Gakpo, he gets a fist in the face. I think that's why he's actually felt it's the right time to step aside, Jurgen Klopp. And he feels as if he's brought the team back to an extremely competitive level. We're more than likely going to qualify for the Champions League, perhaps as champions. And he will hand over to whoever's in charge next campaign, even as if you know, the team are in good place once again in the winner's circle, at least on uh, with one trophy. All the ingredients are there for the new manager, whoever he may be. That is still to be decided. What a noise around Anfield now. Savoslai out to Diaz, beautiful control. He's dug it out towards Bradley and oh, headed in it. finally oh, by Gravenberg. Number five in stoppage time. He's had another Bradley assist to add to his earlier one and his player of the match award. Liverpool have the fifth goal they've been threatening for some time. And they're through to round five in style. Yeah, the party pieces from Luis Diaz. Cross shot from... Connor Bradley, yeah, that certainly goes down as an assist. What Alexander O'Donnell can do, he can try to emulate. Good finish, actually, from Brian Gravenberg. Easy to misjudge that one, just going over the head of a Norwich player. Kept his eyes on the ball. And that makes it utterly, certainly much more convincing. Sorry, pal. Gravenberg's... Third goal for Liverpool, his first in the FA Cup. And that is that. Liverpool through to the last 16 of the FA Cup, where they will face either Southampton or Watford here at Anfield next month. They got the job done in the end.